أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال أعزائي المشاهدين نرحب معنا اليوم بضيفنا المميز الأستاذ أياز عثمان من تالنت تو كونكت فيرست هلو مستر أياز and would like to thank you for appearing with us today Hi uh, good morning uh, world this is Ayaz Usman Modi group managing director talent to connect Mr Ayaz we would like to know more about you and how was the beginning with your company Well Abdul Razak uh, like any entrepreneur there is always uh, you know a previous story to it all right uh, I worked in this Middle East for about you know 16 years and understand the trick of the trade and uh, you know learned how the businesses are what are the diversified verticals we are talking about like construction trading manufacturing all right services industry and uh, you know the other industries as well so uh, i was in the erp line where i used to understand from the operational point of view and uh, the policies and the practices which we systematized in erp all right and uh, we started in 2016 in india all right that was the uh, first time we stepped the stone uh, into the corporate market and india is a vast market you know it's good for it services and staffing and so on yes wonderful mr ayaz can you tell us more what type of services you are giving and what's your specialty sure uh, ruzak the point is like uh, we have got around six companies all right and eight th- divisions are pnls in the in our group our group is uh, backed up by you know no investors that's quite a surprising point which i would like to you know, inform because we believed in our own personal money rather than taking stakes from uh, the market all right and then you know returning dividends and so on so uh, we are by one or okay and all by one all right so the point is that you know we have got about as i told you eight divisions all right we have went to it services we develop mobile apps we do erp implementations um you know sap oracle microsoft salesforce and uh, salesforce commerce cloud and we do staffing you know for technical functional all right qa team all right we do a website designing development with fire responsive websites and uh, we are also into data analytics so uh, we work with sparks technology and gb tech and so on and uh, then i can say that you know like uh, we are also into uh, many other services like you uh, know we can provide a it infrastructure all right for a small office or a medium office uh, it can it, it talks about a client server app- application architecture web server application architecture all right the cloud we are talking about in liaison with the data centers yes we have got a people uh, approved by ad knock approved by civil defense and so on and then we'll put you to the right people we are some channel partners we are implementers we are so you know uh, resource providers um we provide resources in 22 countries as Wonderful. such yeah we covering the apac pan india and uh, you know middle east of course has been uh, you know our uh, you know i can call it like uh, another uh, you know home country i mean you are right you know, uae i mean uh, a great nation to be associated with wonderful mr ayaz you mentioned special and a lot of uh, services can you tell us what's your secret to be successful doing all of these type of services sure that's a wonderful question i appreciate it um uh, it's basically what i've learned uh, you know in my past all right that hard work pays all right when i started my company uh, say um 2016 in india uh, talent to connect solution services uh it was a sole proprietorship company only and then uh, you know like uh, we used to work hard for about uh, 70 hours a day to start with because when you get you want to get a high riser all right a building you need to have a strong foundation the more the higher the altitude of the building all right the deeper the foundation goes you are right you need to really balance it my friend all right so when you want to have a very big portfolio all right you need to uh have a very good planning all right you need to have plan a and plan b going on parallelly okay 
your plan A will be your core, plan B would be how to measure the risk compliance. Every business has risks and calculative risk is one of the principle of management itself. You know that. Yeah, yeah we all studied in schools and colleges. Yeah. Exactly. So huh, it's like that. Yani. And uh, I'm from IT industry. In IT industry, we are uh, talking about staffing, you know, implementations. We're talking about training programs, certifications. Uh, we're talking about infrastructure. So what you practice is what you preach. Or uh, rather the other way, sorry. What you preach is what you practice. It can be both the ways. Because learning is basically an eternal curve. You cannot stop learning. You learn from your investors. You learn from your you know, system integrators. You learn from your customers. You learn from the market. For example, you know, you can learn some negotiation skills from your motorists and your, your cab guys, you know. You don't know when to use. I mean, you should know when to use what. Right thing at the right place at the right time, you know. Gods were there, uh, Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah bless me with, you know, all these, uh, uh, you know, what do you call, uh, success stories and, you know, milestone achievements, yeah. So, that's what it is. Like, as such, IT getting, you know, like, uh, clouded into, as I told you, staffing, mobile development, you know, all these kind of things. So, that's mm -hmm. what we're talking about. Yeah. Wonderful. I hope like, I answered your question. You answered perfectly. Thank you. Honestly, and I'm like really happy for this answer. Mr. Ayaz, uh, let's move to the future. Where do you see your company in the next few years? Yeah. Uh, Abdul Razak, what my aim was to have 10 companies, all right? My first bucket list, we're talking about 10 companies. Uh, IT, you know, it's in my blood like Yanni. You know, like I want to get into, uh, you know, as an implementation partner, uh, you know, of SAP. Now, what am I doing? I'm doing from the resource driven point of view. Later, I want to go to the step up in which I want to become um, IT implementation partner or ERP CRM implementation partner for, you know, SAP, Oracle, Microsoft and Salesforce technologies and uh, I mean it's quite interesting working on you know multi diversified verticals you know all these projects and uh, I would like to open an FMCG company as well you know I'd like to bring some uh, diversification you know like let, let's bring some FMCG and then planning to open you know a few restaurants as well and so on so this is my plan and uh, inshallah, you know, may Allah bless uh, with the, you know, wishes. Inshallah, we hope you the best. World. It looks so interesting to know all of these plans. Oh, that's really wonderful of you. <laughs> Thank and you. I Mr. Ayaz, through all of these long experience mm -hmm. in these fields, different fields and different knowledge you have, yeah. what's your advice for anyone who wants to live, work or invest here in Dubai? Uh, my friend, let me tell you one thing. I like how they say, uh, you know, in, in UAE, like, Yahi, yeah? Yeah, my brother. It's like, yeah, my brother. Yahi, Sadiq, his friend, Rafiq, yeah? Things yes. like that. Uh, I started my work in Abu Dhabi, all right? And I used to do deals in coffee shops and shisha shops. You know, like, it doesn't matter that, you know, where you're sitting and doing a deal. It matters that how you understood the client. Be a very good listener, guys, all right? When you be a very good listener, you know, the customer at the starting phase doesn't give you a clue about the requirements. All right. But slowly, as he gets the trust factor on you, all right, he slowly opens up or she slowly opens up that, okay, and there is where like you need to pounce upon, I'm telling you, all right. You need to pounce upon and then understand because don't sell your products or services, guys. All right. I'm telling everyone. This is to the world, all right? I mean, if I can deliver to the world, all right? Yeah. If I have this uh, honors to do it, yeah? Just create buy-in. You know, no selling business out here. Just create buy-in of the products and services. That means hold the trust with the, you know, the opposite party, the client, okay? And then, you know, uh, be punctual, all right? And then, you know, uh, you respect your time so that the world respects your time, all right? And uh, 
we do your homework very well before meeting every anybody. Okay, if you're going and meeting somebody from the you know construction industry, know about their business, know about their pain areas, guys. Because if you want to give a medicine or a solution, you should know the pain area. All right. Same way, like you know, if the doctor doesn't know and the uh, the patient comes in like, hey, I've got a stomach ache, and doctor says like, yeah, you told me it's stomach ache. Not a problem. You have a stomach ache. No, he he's an check. expert. Yeah. He needs to check everything. That's how a professional should, you know, operate in this global market. That's it. Yeah. Wonderful advice. At the end, we would note how safety and security help Mr. Ayaz to improve himself and his business here in Dubai. Well, uh, we started in Dubai in 2019. <laughs> all right, um, after our ventures in India. Uh, we opened about you know three to four companies, one for the software development and one for mobile apps. And then uh, we said like, okay, let's go global. That's what the news was. And uh, we said yes, let's. Uh, we are going to go global, not blindly. Of course, we did some planning on the financial part, operational. Sure. Uh, you know, like collected some opportunities, made a pipeline, all right, and then so on. Security. I mean, I'm so touched, you know, by this. Uh, a great nation, United Arab Emirates. You know, it just gives me a, a, a great feeling. It just gives me, you know, like uh, how lucky I am uh, to be in this part of the world. And 2005, I landed here. I started as a software consultant in Focus Softnet, or it's one of the software company. And uh, we deal with ERP and CRMs, all right. So, uh, wonderful place. I can tell you, like in UAE, the security is so good that um, our men are of women, whatever it is, like, you know, we are going equal, all right, the global scenario, equality to women, and, you know, we're talking about women liberation, and then, you know, uh, of course, the upliftment and so on, all right, I mean, many, many countries going on. I mean, you can just walk with your, your ornaments on, or, uh, you know, you can have your belongings or your, your expensive gifts, still walk down kilometers and come back, you know, you're safe. I mean, the, pol the Abu Dhabi police, the Dubai police, Sharjah police, we're talking about, you know, Shurta, we call it here, yeah? Yes. I mean, it, it's really great. They take care of the, uh, you know, nation. Uh, they provide the best of security possible. Uh, they have the great, you know, traffic regulations and lane disciplines and then, you know, security for individual companies, you know, flats. The insurance is what they cover, you know, these insurance companies out there, you know, like, I mean, have very good clause, which is favorable to the customers, all right, uh, the clients and business people. So we're really happy. I mean, I'm so touched to be here and definitely, you know, like thankful to the leaders, you know, Sheikh Mohammed bin uh, Rashid and Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. Uh, you know, the greatness and the niceness they have brought to the nation and transformation, you know. We now in Dubai, in UAE, we've got the biggest, you know, the tallest, you know, I mean, what we don't have, I mean, competing with all, you know, all, all the nations in the world. And uh, it's fascinated all the Western crowd to come here and, you know, start their living or getting into the tourism and so on. I mean, uh, it's a wonderful place, UAE. It's got the magic, you know, you go away. And I, I mean, it's something like, uh, let, let's make it more dramatic, yeah? Uh, you can, um, you know, you can go out of UAE, but the UAE cannot go out of you. You are right. 100%, you are right. At the end, we need to thank you for appearing with us today and we would tell everyone how they can reach and contact with you. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, our website is www.t2cit.com and uh, we have got another website as well. Uh, as you see, like, you know, we've got about like eight divisions and, you know, like six companies. So it's diversified, you know, whatever the client wants, they can take from the respective websites. Uh, the second one is www.talent, T-A-L-E-N-T, numeric2connect.net, all right? And uh, my email ID and contact details will be available, you know, in the video, all right? In the section, you can take it up. And uh, I'd like to thank Abdul Razak, I mean, you know, uh, for doing a great dossier of thank you. taking some information and exhibiting it to the world, all right? And uh, special thanks to ABC Gulf and... Uh, uh, Mohammed, uh, our cameraman, I mean, sorry guys, he cannot be focused, he's on his duty, all right. And uh, thank you him as well, and uh, all have a wonderful life and um, yeah, wonderful day, Serge. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure.
الى هنا اعزائي المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الاسبوع تابعونا كل جمعه وسبت على قناتكم اي في سي الخليجيه وعلى مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي دمتم بخير وفي امان الله